All right, folks. Uh, Brian here from North Wind Garage. We got this uh, Harbor Freight wood splitter. It's got a uh, eight horsepower Briggs on it. Uh, basically, folks, I just run this thing. I just run it and I run it. And I, there's no air in the tires right now. It's been sitting here for about three years. I split my wood right here and pile it right here. So uh, that's the way it goes with it. I, I basically wind up having to troubleshoot it every year because I, I basically just shut off and leave it. And uh, that's what we're doing here today. We're going to try to get it running again so I can split some firewood. So, I've already pulled it a few times. I put some fresh gas in it. Okay, folks, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. <laughs> Usually I have to uh, clean the carburetor out, but I did put some non-ethanol gas in it last year, I think. You put that ethanol in there, boy, it, it, it uh, gums up the carburetor like no tomorrow. So, uh, well, we're going to get busy splitting some firewood with it. A uh, couple, three, four minutes here. Years ago, I had a big, great big box alder stump, and this, this tilts up, and uh, I got a box alder stump in here that was all twisted up, and it actually bent the I-beam on it. As you can see, it's a little bit twisted here, bent the I-beam a little bit. Uh, other than that, it works great. I got to take care of the tires so I can move it around. But uh, it just sits here and I split wood with it every year. So basically just put oil in it and gas in it and that's all I've really ever done to it. Uh, one time I let somebody borrow it and they, they tried towing it with the leg down and it ripped out this part here, the oil tank. Um, I welded this clevis on here because I used it on a piece of property once that we used to have up in the Northeast Kingdom and uh, I actually pulled a camper up a hill with it. I used a, I, I had a little Bronco too and I pulled a camper up the hill with it and uh, placed a camper up on our property up there. But uh, anyway. Other than that, I haven't had too much trouble with it. Uh, I replaced the hose on it once. This is a new hose. That hose rotted out. I replaced that. Um, the detent, the detent um, to bring it back is after it warms up, it tends to work a little better. But um, you have to kind of hold it with your hand in place until the, the oil gets warmed up. Uh, it also used to have a, a ring up here. You see this is bent. This is all bent out of shape here. This, what this does is it, if you have a piece of wood where the wedge won't come out of, this, this holds the piece of wood while the wedge pulls, it up, pulls itself out of it. 
Yeah, I moved the trailer like 450 feet with it in 20, you know, two foot increments. I kept hooking the chain. Uh, I I pulled the I pulled the wood splitter up the hill and uh, took that trailer. It was a, I think it was about a 20 26 footer or so, and we moved it up into a remote cabin area that I built a landing with an excavator. And yeah, I just kind of used two feet at a time in a chain link, just kept leapfrogging it, and uh, I used my little Bronco too as just kind of steady it, and I hooked a chain onto the plow frame, and basically just pulled it up in there because the little Bronco too couldn't, even, couldn't pull it up the hill. So it was so sleep, slippery and greasy. It's, it's had a long history with us. So I think we've had this thing about 15 years. Um, it's been a good machine. Made in China. They don't put these Briggs and Strattons on them anymore. They put the, the China uh, Honda knockoffs on them now. The Predator engines or whatever they are. They have diff several different knockoff engines they put on them. But um, yeah, so far. It's been an excellent machine, and, and I don't, I don't baby it in no way. I don't mollycoddle it in any way. So, uh, would I do it again? Heck yeah! It was best 800 bucks I ever spent. I think by the time I got it to the house, it was about 850 or so, maybe closer to 900 bucks with shipping or whatever it was. And I had to put it together. It came on a pallet. And I had to put it together. So, I mean, for the most part, all these pieces were together. The engine, the pump, all the hydraulics were together. I just had to, to put the pins in. Put the pins in. They had it kind of dismantled on the pallet. It was so long ago, I don't remember exactly how they had it. But uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it hasn't... It doesn't have any hubs on it. it. Just the axle and stub. They just stub out into the the wheel. They really need like a five bolt pattern or four bolt pattern wheels on them, so you can take the wheel off and work on them. Uh, otherwise, you got to open up the bearings and get in there and do it that way. So to pull the wheel off. Other than that, folks, a quick review on it. Uh, it doesn't always start like it just did. Usually, you know, I have to fiddle with it a little bit because because I don't take care of it. I just I split wood with it and walk away from it with put a cover on it and that's it till next year. So uh, it's been a great tool. Can't complain. I'd buy one again in a heartbeat. So that's that on the central hydraulics wood splitter. This is the tilt model, tilts up. Which I think all of them are, but. Once again, eight horsepower, overhead valve, Briggs and Stratton engine. It's a power belt model. I pulled the cord and she took off. It's got a two, two stage, two stage pump on it. It's got a hydraulic filter. Then uh, I try to replace that every year or so, every couple of years. Works great. There you have it, Harbor Freight wood splitter. We get to work. Split some firewood with it. Stay tuned.
Okay, folks, so here's a quick rundown on the uh, Harbor Freight uh, wood splitter. So, I hate the tires. They've, they've never held air from day one. And I've always fought with them to get them to hold air. I mean, you, you go fill them up and then, like, less than a week later, they're, they're back down again. And, and I just, I haven't taken the time to put some uh, sealing compound around them and, uh, I've told this thing across the state several times, several times, and I've always fought to keep air in the tires. So uh, I, ju I just think the tires were junk from the factory. Uh, this is a replacement one I picked up at Tractor Supply because the original one that came with it was complete garbage. I, I had also purchased years ago uh, Harbor Freight's uh, tow behind digger uh, the, the little excavator thing and it had originally had a nine horsepower Robin Subaru engine on it and I had tried towing that machine with with the Harbor Freight uh, trailer hitch on, on it and uh, I lost it actually uh, thank God the safety chains held, but I lost it going down the road, and it cleaned out uh, the head on on that Robin Subaru engine. And I, I went ahead and put a new head on it, and then I let somebody borrow it, and it happened again. So I called Harbor Freight, and I, I told them I said I want a replacement motor out of this, and they and they did send me a motor. I had to pay for it, uh, and the motor that they sent me was one of those Predator or it wasn't it wasn't a Robin Subaru engine so the Robin Subaru engine was an excellent engine absolutely excellent uh, the other engine that I had was some sort of off off brand China made thing that started hard in the winter it started hard in cold weather so uh, and I'm sure there, there's some things I could have done to it to try and improve that, but uh, I just I wound up trading the thing for a zero-turn lawnmower. So that's that on the digger. But do not trust these Harbor Freight hitches. Do not trust them. They will come off. I have had I've had one come off more than once. So uh, you'd think I'd learn the first time, but I went a second time around on it, and it's still. This is, this is an aftermarket one I got at Tractor Supply, I think, and I've never had any trouble with that one. But, uh, so that's that on the uh, Harbor Freight wood splitter, folks. Other than a few minor things there, you know, for the money, it served me well uh, at least 15 years. It's probably closer to 18. So, it served me well. So that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, click the bell, give me a thumbs up. It all helps with the YouTube algorithms. And uh, I appreciate you watching, folks. I really do. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. God bless you. Peace out.